In this presentation, we will understand logical operators in detail. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic is introduction to logical operators. The second topic is various logical operators. And after understanding these two topics, we will move on to the homework problem of this presentation. So, without any further delay, let's get started and let's see the introduction to logical operators first. So, let's understand what is a logical operator first. A logical operator is used to combine conditional expressions. So, a logical operator is an operator which is used to combine conditional expressions. We have already seen in the last presentation what is a conditional expression. A conditional expression is an expression which involves comparison operators. We have seen the comparison operators in the last presentation. We have seen what is less than, what is less than equal to, what is greater than, greater than equal to, equal to, not equal to. In this presentation, we will try to understand how we can use logical operators to combine conditional expressions which involve those comparison operators. Before understanding how to do this, we first need to see the list of all the logical operators we have in Python. So, following is the list of logical operators available in Python. The first operator is logical AND, which is denoted by this AND. The second operator in this list is logical OR, which is denoted by OR. And the third logical operator in this list is logical NOT, which is denoted by NOT. Please remember this, that logical NOT is the only unary logical operator. These two operators are binary operators. This operator is a unary operator. Now, let's understand these operators in detail one by one. That is what the next topic is all about. We now need to discuss various logical operators we have in Python. So, let's start with the first logical operator which is logical AND. Logical AND is denoted by this AND symbol. It returns true if both the conditions are true. Otherwise, it returns false. So, logical AND works like this. It returns true if both the conditions are true. Otherwise, it returns false. In order to understand how logical AND works, we need to consider one simple example. For that, we need to open our command prompt and after activating the Python interactive shell, type this command. x equal to 10, which means that we are assigning this variable x to this value 10. After this, we need to hit enter and then we type this command y equal to 20. Then again, we will hit enter and type this command z equal to 30. So, in total, we have three variables x, y and z. And each of them has these values 10, 20 and 30 respectively. Now, let's hit enter and let's type this command. If x greater than y and y greater than z, then we need to add this colon after this. With this statement, we want to write an if check. So, if x is greater than y and y is greater than z, we are using logical AND operator here. And before this operator, we have this operand, which is a conditional expression. Why we can say that this is a conditional expression? Because this expression involves a comparison operator. So, this is a conditional expression and this is also a conditional expression. Here, we are checking if x is greater than y and y is greater than z. Which means we are checking if both of them are true, then what we need to do, we need to print x is the largest number. Please note that after colon, when you hit enter, you will get these three dots, which indicates the continuation of the previous line of code. So, here we need to add the indentation first and then we can start writing the command which is print x is the largest number. It is mandatory to add the indentation here. It can be a two space indentation or it can be a four space indentation. It does not really matter. The only thing that matters is that the indentation should be uniform throughout. After this if check, we are adding this line which means that this print function is part of this if check. If this condition is satisfied, then this print function will get evaluated. This means that we will get x is the largest number on the screen. If x is greater than y and y is greater than z, this means that x is also greater than z. 
and it clearly indicates that x is the largest number and this is what we want to print after this we need to add the else part for this we need to hit enter and we will again get these three dots which means that we are in the continuation to the previous code we now need to add this else block first we need to type else and then we need to type colon after this we need to hit enter and then we need to type this command print x is not the largest number after the else part we need to add the indentation here and then we need to type print x is not the largest number if this condition is not satisfied then definitely x is not the largest number that is what we want to print after this we need to hit enter and again we need to hit enter because we are done with this code we want to indicate this by hitting enter again and then we will get this message x is not the largest number which is correct because here x is 10 y is 20 and z is 30 definitely x is not the largest number the first condition itself is not satisfied x is neither greater than y nor it is greater than z it is a clear indication that x is not the largest number i hope this idea is completely clear this is how we can use the and operator which is also called the logical and operator now let's move on to the next operator which is logical or logical or is denoted by this or symbol let's see what it does it returns true if one of the conditions is true otherwise it returns false this means that it will return false only when both the conditions are false now let's open our command prompt and let's type this command x equal to 30 after this we need to hit enter and type y equal to 50 then again we need to hit enter and type z equal to 10 now again we need to hit enter and this time we need to type if x is greater than y or x is greater than z if it is the case that x is greater than y or if it is the case that x is greater than z then what we need to do we need to hit enter and these three dots indicate that we are in the continuation to the previous command and now we need to type print x is at least larger than one number this statement makes sense too if x is greater than y or x is greater than z if any of these conditions are satisfied then it is a clear indication that x is at least larger than one number i hope this idea is making sense after this we need to hit enter and this time we need to type the else block always remember to add colon after else and after if statement this is very important this colon indicates that we want to add a new line which must be the part of this if construct only and here the new line is this print so here after colon if we hit enter we will get these three dots which python has added automatically and therefore we would be able to add the line of code which will become the part of this if construct after this else also we need to add colon because we want to indicate to the python that we want to add a line of code which we want to make part of this else block that is why it is important to put colon here after adding colon and after hitting enter we will again get these three dots after adding the appropriate indentation we need to add this line of code print x is the smallest number after adding this line of code we need to hit enter and again we need to hit enter to indicate that we are done with this entire piece of code we don't want to add any other lines of code here we can tell this to python by hitting enter once again and then we will get this line x is at least larger than one number this is the result we are getting from python and yes it is true as well x is not greater than y because x is 30 and y is 50 but x is greater than z because x is 30 and z is 10 this means that this condition is satisfied hence this entire statement becomes true and we will enter inside this if construct and this is the reason why we are getting this message x is at least larger than one number because in this print function we are providing this argument x is at least larger than one number i hope this is clear now 
Let's move on to the third operator, which is logical not. It is denoted by not, not, all in small letters. Now let's see what is the role of logical not operator, what it does. Logical not operator returns true if the conditional expression returns false and vice versa. So, logical not operator returns true if the conditional expression returns false. It does the opposite. And it returns false if the conditional expression returns true. Let's understand this with the help of an example. x equal to 10 and then we need to hit enter. Type this command y equal to 20. Hit enter. Type z equal to 30. Hit enter. Now in total we have three variables x, y and z. x is 10, y is 20 and z is 30. Now we need to type this command. If not x greater than y or x greater than z. Note that after not, we have added these parentheses and within these parentheses, we need to type this command x greater than y or x greater than z. So what we are trying to do here is that we are interested in inverting the result of this logical expression. Here we have x greater than y or x greater than z. We have this conditional expression x greater than y and we have this conditional expression x greater than z. Between these two conditional expressions, we have OR operator. So here we are checking, is x greater than y or x greater than z? If any of these conditions is satisfied, we'll get true as a result. Now if we get true, then NOT operator will invert it and make it false. So this is how NOT operator works. It returns true if the conditional expression returns false. If this entire expression returns false, then NOT operator will return true in that case. Otherwise, it will return false. After this if statement, we again need to add this colon and then we need to hit enter. We will get these three dots. Now we need to add print x is not the largest number. Let's try to understand why we should get this message after this condition is satisfied. Here, in order to get a true value, we must get false here. This means that x should neither be greater than y nor it should be greater than z. Right? If both these conditions are not satisfied, then only we will get false here. We can see this that x is 10, y is 20 and z is 30. This means that x is neither greater than y nor it is greater than z because x is 10. It is less than both of these values. Hence, we will get false here. Not of false will give us true, which means that eventually we will get this message, x is not the largest number, which is correct. After adding this line of code, we need to hit enter and this time we need to add the else block. Here we need to type else and then colon. After this, we need to hit enter and this time we need to type this command print x is not the smallest number. So if this condition is not satisfied, we will get this message, x is not the smallest number. x is at least greater than one number. Now if we hit enter, and again if we hit enter, we will indicate Python that we are done with this piece of code. Now let's hit enter once again, and we will get this message, x is not the largest number, which is correct. I hope the idea of logical AND, logical OR and logical NOT is completely clear. This means we are done with this topic which is various logical operators. Now let's move on to the homework problem of this presentation. What is the output of the following program? Here is the program available in front of you. You need to identify the output of this program. And surely, after finding the answer, you need to post your answer in the comment section below. We are done with all these topics. We have understood what is a logical operator, how it helps in combining conditional expressions. And we have also seen various logical operators. And at the end, we have seen the homework problem of this presentation as well. This means we are done with this entire lecture. Okay, friends. This is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.